Let's make arroz con gandules and picadillo, but make it vegan. Welcome to my channel. If you've seen me before, welcome back. So why vegan, Elisa? Easy. First, it was a request that I got to make vegan arroz con gandules. I've actually been dabbling already in vegan and vegetarian food because if you guys don't know already, meat is getting expensive. So I'm trying to go with like a, you know, more economic route and it seems like vegetarian is the way to go. I figured that arroz con gandule will be kind of easier because it's already pretty much uh, vegan. I just have to switch a couple of things around and we're gonna make it with some picadillo but instead of beef we're gonna use mushrooms and onions so without further ado let's get cooking as always all the ingredients are listed below but here's a little preview the first thing you need to do is prep the material cut your onions cut your mushrooms here i am finishing it off i'm just dicing them in squares and have your cans and seasonings already open and ready. Also have your rice in the bowl ready to wash, which I'm gonna do right now. Make sure you drain the rice really well because you do not want it to get mushy. First we need fire. Then we need oil. So a whole part was skipped because I thought it was recording and it's not recording. That's great. Okay. So let's recap. I had added my sofrito, recaito, garlic, oil, sazón con culantro, and oregano. Mixed it all around. I added my drained gandules, mixed that. Added my rice. Once I mixed this so oil has color, I added the same amount of liquid as I'm adding of rice. So I'm making two cups of rice. And I had already almost a cup of the gandules liquid, so I added some vegetable stock to that. One cup. This is the second cup. And now you mix it around and taste it. Mmm. Very good. Ah. So now we're gonna leave this on high until it dries. And once it dries, we are going to turn it and you'll see. Fear not, lucky for me, I have to do the same process again to make the mushrooms anyway, so you're not gonna miss out on what happened with the rice. You're about to see now exactly what happened until we got to the part of the gandules, which is the part that we missed. So let's get those mushrooms done. All right, so basically the same way that we make the rice, we're gonna add oil first, cover that bottom, add the sofrito, recaito, garlic, you can tell that I cook a lot because this is already done. Some sazon. And on this one, we are going to add the white sazon. So we're going to mix that up. Don't let it jump on you and burn you, please. Oregano. I'm going to add a little bit of cumin on this one. Skip the cumin on the rice. We're going to get some tomato sauce on this one. Mix it around. And this would have been the part where you added the, the green pigeon piece. But for this particular thing, we are going to add the mushrooms and the onions. Just the way I will make picadillo would be. And look how pretty that looks. And I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable stock. Mix that around and I'm gonna cover it. Lower the temperature and I'm gonna let it simmer out a little bit so the so the mushroom and the onion can get a little soft. Meanwhile, I'm going to put all my ingredients away because the best way to keep a kitchen clean is putting things away as you go. All right, this rice is just about dry, so we are going to turn it. And by turning it, I don't mean don't mix it around. You go like that and you flip it. So you take it in sections and flip it. Take it in sections. All around first. And then the middle 
being the last thing that you flip. Okay, so make sure that all that bottom rice goes to the top and vice versa. And I like to make it into a little dome so that way the sides don't stick to the pan, to the pot because then it's harder to clean. Now that we have it like a little dome, we are going to cover it and we are going to let it simmer. I just lowered down the fire to like see it's very, very little bit. And we're gonna let that simmer for 15 minutes. If you smell it before then, do not wait the full 15 minutes. If you're already smelling the rice, go and turn it. Like around, you know, if, if it's like 12, 13 minutes, go turn it. Meanwhile, this one is still simmering. So we're gonna check that in a little bit as well. All right, let's check this. How is it doing? Oh, that is looking good. That's looking good, but I would add a little bit of more vegetable stock to it. I am looking for a little bit of sauce in it. So we are gonna put it more like that so it doesn't burn. And we are gonna let it simmer some more. Okay, so I still have like three minutes left, but I can smell it. So see what I was referring to? So I'm going to turn the rice before it burns. And being that this is a caldero, the type of pot that this is, I am not going to scrape the bottom because then you're going to get chunk bits of burned rice on the top and you don't want that. I mean, big out. People eat big out. Alright, and you can see like that this is kind of looking like it, it wants to go mushy. So what we're going to do is that we're going to cook it the rest of the way with the top partially open. It's not completely closed. It's just going to be like, like put and then there's going to be some kind of air flowing in and out so that way it doesn't go mush and we're gonna wait another 15 minutes or until you start smelling it again all right this rice is pretty much done oh let me serve myself some rice this is good. oh yeah let's throw these on top and you know what let's throw some avocado in there too Oh my god, look at that. Look at how pretty that looks, guys. Uh, Alright, let me try this. Alright, so my ring light turned off. Let's try it. You don't need light to try it. You already saw how beautiful it looks. Does it taste beautiful, too? Bro, I'm not even a vegan cook. And this is amazing. Mm. Mm hmm. Let me put this down for a minute so I can make the finishing, the ending to the video. Please hold. Just one more. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. I don't need to put it down. Guys. It's so good. If you like this video, please like down below. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Just you subscribing today is going to help Lola get to a 1,000. And that will help me get paid. And if I get paid, I can do way more videos like that for you. So subscribe down below. Like. Do everything you got to do for this algorithm to explode. And enjoy. I hope you guys make this at home because... I am confident you're gonna like it. I'm not even a big fan of mushrooms, but this is banging. This is buzzing. Mm. Love you, bye.